If you made a list of the greatest musical minds who have ever traversed the globe, the number one person that should place at number one on the number one charts of number ones should be Assland. Basically, I'm saying she's the top 1% of the 1%, cream of the crop, the shiniest turd in the fucking turd sandwich, my guy. She makes Beethoven look like trash. Her lyrical skills and flows make Biggie look like a fucking has-been. The way she rides a beat, she might as well put J. Cole out of business. Her singing voice reminds me of Drake from the Take Care album. Justin Timberlake and Usher go to Assland for voice lessons on Jaw. Assland is probably the greatest singer-songwriter ever. Much better than Simon and Garfunkel, The Beatles, The Beach Boys, The Beastie Boys. Name any fucking band or any fucking musician with any shred of musical skill. Like, I don't know, Elton John, Ray Charles. All of them are trash compared to Aslan. Every time the homies pass me the aux, you know who I'm fucking blasting, no questions asked. I'll make the whole car jump every time I put on that double platinum track, Money, by Aslan and Big Nem, two of the greatest rappers to have ever hopped in the game. I'm sure you heard all about their songs. If you, if you don't, then you're fucking lame and you can't fucking hang, I'm sorry. A party isn't live unless you drop an Aslan track in there. Chicago drill rappers bump Aslan when they pull a lick. If you gave me two choices, bump Aslan every day for seven years. Or get a hundred million dollars. Y'all know what I'm gonna be fucking picking. King Vaughn, peace be upon him. Use this Assland as inspo when he lays down a fucking track, okay? Like, listen, man. Assland is the fucking shit, bro. She's legit. As 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 Big Nam. Give me that money. I need that paper, give me that cash. Me I that. want better gifts while I laugh and listen to jazz. Uh, and I'm gonna keep it 100, I can't lie to y'all. This track is probably the greatest steaming pile of dog shit I've ever had the misfortune of listening to. I'd rather stick my head into the fattest asshole I've ever seen and let that boy fart in my ear constantly. I'm sure this track was probably used to terrorize the Muslims in Guantanamo Bay. I can picture Mohammed bin al Hassad being tied up in an echo chamber and having to listen to this song on repeat for 24 hours straight while they fucking ask him where Osama bin Laden's hideout is. I'm gonna be fucking real here. I don't know whether to take this song seriously or to fucking laugh. A part of me really wishes she was trolling when she made this, but another part of me really doesn't think she was fucking trolling. You can just sense that she thought she broke the streaming records with this sack of shit. I honestly don't know what she was fucking thinking when she was dropping this. She probably thought that she fucking dropped the biggest banger of the century or some bullshit. She thought this song was gonna be at all the fucking block parties. Niggas was gonna be getting fucking turned up to this shit. Every time I see a white girl try and rap, Iggy Azalea or whatever her culture vulture ass name is comes to mind. Like, don't fucking do it, bro. You have a specific set of God-given talents, and rapping just ain't one of them. Don't, don't fucking do it. YouTube money, my account. Shit is getting hard to count. Turn that frown right upside down. I got that money, money, money. She sounds like she swallowed Bumblebee's voice modulator with all that auto tune that's fucking going on here. Like, bro, can you fucking hear this shit? I feel as though the auto tune is there to try and mask how tone deaf she is while singing slash rapping slash vomiting or whatever the fuck she's doing with these fucking lines. I've heard a group of toads be much more melodic than this fucking Assland chick. It seems like Jake Paul and Rice Gum really inspired a bunch of YouTubers to think that they are fucking musically inclined or some shit, bro. But the difference between Jake Paul and Rice Gum is that you can at least guess that they don't really believe they have that kind of musical talent. They're just doing it for the fucking views and, and you know, fucking dropping diss tracks on people and shit. Their music is part of their trashy douchebag fucking persona. Jake and Rice can get a pass because every douchebag who wears Gucci, Fendi, Prada Think that they're the next Jews world or some shit. Aslan really felt as though she brought out the heat with this one, bro. Shorty pulled out all the stops, got herself a fucking Lambo to flex in the music video, a whole plane and shit too. Like, even if they were only shooting for like one day, which let's face it, they probably shot this video over like, I don't know, a couple weeks or some shit. Those are some expensive ass fucking rentals, my guy. I guess you could say she goes and gets that money. <laughs> What a trash song, bro. I can see where she got the inspo from. I'm getting hella Nicki Minaj vibes here. 
It's sad that females really don't think that they can rap without wobbling their asses in front of our faces just to distract dudes from the fact that they have no rapping talent whatsoever. We really need to introduce these females to MC Light, the coolest MC in the fucking game, bro. Engine passengers, we are temporarily being held in the station due to cross signals. We will be moving short. Thank you. you love me it doesn't matter it goes into my head as just chit chatter you may think it's egotistical or just wary free but what you say i take none of it seriously and even if i did i wouldn't tell you so i'd let you pretend to read me and then you'd know because i hate when one attempts to analyze fact i despise those who even try to look into my eyes to see what i am thinking that dream is over yeah y'all are sinking i tell all of you like i told all of them what you say to me is just paper thin See, now that's how you spit some fucking bars, bro. The sad part is Aslan, Aslan's song is so fucking trash, but I bet you she herself wasn't even the one that fucking wrote this song, bro. That's how talentless I feel she really is. She has as much personality as a fucking cardboard box. Also, who the fuck is this stone, bro? This dude's head is so square, he reminds me of that dude, Jeff, from Clarence. Red dude, I gotta relocate. Life get caught when the degrees on pay. Not rich yet, but I'm on my way. How's a racket? If you got fans, then go stack them. If you got hands, go on clap them. Roads are hard, no Google Maps. Um. Grinding shit, grinding shit. I've been in the shit. Go and take a shower, bitch. For Regis sees we rich. I don't even know what the fuck he's rapping about in here. All I hear is something about money and that he just does a fucking word vomit or some shit. I think he's trying to, he's trying to like fucking channel his inner Buster Rhymes or Old Dirty Bastard or some shit. But it's just not fucking working, bro. Listen, dog, here, let me give you a piece of advice. Uh, you know me, I, I give advice like shit like that for free. Stick to whatever the fuck you were doing before this video. This man makes mumble rap look fucking good, bro. Like, at least with mumble rap, there's a melodic tune to it, so you can just, like, bop your head along with it, even if you don't know the fucking word. But this shit is pure ass. He sounds like Pitbull, except much more fucking trash, with no Hispanic shit going on in there. At least Pitbull can fucking dolly dolly, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Worldwide and shit. There's legit no rhyme or reason to this nigga's flow. His flow is all over the place. It's literally fucking whack as shit. Like, I may not be the most lyrically bodacious dude in the game, but I bet you my mama, on my mama, bro, I could drop a better verse than this mug. On God, bro. Like, don't don't even try me, dog. Like, don't, don't let me fucking come for you. Boop, boop, tsp, 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 ah, ch ch check it. Yeah, my name is Rowan, and I'm here to say... Give me that cheddar and get out my way. I'm not talking about no Mickey D's. And I'm not talking about no Chuck E. Cheese. Give me the lettuce, the bread, and the fucking dough. Or else you know I'm going to kick this goddamn dough. Give me the cash or shit's gonna be dicey. Me and this AK go fucking spicy. Don't make me freeze your own little dude. My lead finna put a hole right through you. Making stacks is the name of the game. I'm not in it for no fucking fame. I drop fire ass bars all fucking day. So subscribe or move out my way. Mm. Hey, yo, dollars and deals holla at me. Interscope records, you know where to find me. Hey, yo, young money. Hit me on hit my line sometime, you know what I'm saying, dog? I got a couple unreleased mixtapes on the fucking shelf. Just show me that contract and I'll sign that hoe. So so death. You're not really my top choice, but but I'll create y'all with my fucking presence sometimes. Jay Z, you know where to find me. I'ma just I'ma just leave it at that. Big Sean, you my homie. I'll give you a feature for free, man. Just let me holler at you real quick. Drake, I'll write your whole fucking album for you. You don't even need to credit me, bro. Shit's on the house. I'm the hidden member of the fucking Wu Tang Clan with these bars, bro. 50k a line, 100k a feature. You know what I'm saying, bro? Don't don't, don't even fucking speak on my name. <laughs> This has been your boy Ronan. Subscribe, like, share, retweet, whatever the fuck y'all like to do. That's it. See ya.